Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 6. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button please. Last episode we finished liming the field and now we are ready to cultivate. And then we will fertilize. So let's get to it. Oh, before I do this, I want to fertilize. So let's drop this off. We will put this back on. Actually, put the weight right there. Maybe I'll see that. Now we'll bring back a container. Okay, let's see. We want fertilizer. They don't give that away. Get two bags of that. And now the container. Grain container, 45,000. That is very large and we probably won't need anything else for a while. Ah, we'll leave it green. Missed. Oh, I still have lime in here. I'm going to have to get rid of the lime. So... Hit a post. Why is it going to let me put... Oh, because there's lime right there and it's close enough. Alright, let's put the lime in there. Uh, it changed it to fertilizer. What happened to the lime? It... It just threw away the lime. Well, I don't like that. This spreader is definitely buggy.
And now you know what the container is for. We are going to fill it with tree stuff. Tree stuff that doesn't behave like regular pines, evergreens. All right. Drop that off. Turn around. Grab it. Now, let's see how wide this path is. Oh, it doesn't need it everywhere. Well, okay. I will cultivate first, and then it will take fertilizer everywhere and it'll double coat it or oh come on there we go i keep forgetting where there was grass it fertilized with that so, okay, let's drop this down, and it should start working. And it is beautiful. Okay, we can work this into a little time lapse. There we go. Nice purdy field. Now we'll see how much fertilizer. I think I should be able to coat everything. And there'll be voids for a second application. But we're going to leave it at a two in some and not in another. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm not real happy with this spreader. I get done with this job, I think I'm selling it. So it is taking a full application, but it'll only be a double coating where there wasn't any grass. If that makes sense.
So it's giving it a full coat, but then there's going to be blotches. Oh, I might go back. Nah, no need to. It's just grass. And it won't spray if I'm rolling backwards. There's a lot of little glitches in this thing. I guess I didn't need to buy two bags. Holy cow. It's lasting. So I guess I'll have leftover fertilizer for my next job. click here. There we go. Oop, let's leave this over here. And we will unload it. Of course it put one on each side. Why would it put two of them in one spot? Silly. Okay, what's next? I guess I need to go get a planter. We're off to spend more money. We're at 2,000. I think I will go back and double fertilize the whole field just because I've got all this extra fertilizer. Oh, you know what? Speaking of fertilizer... I'm taking this spreader back. Getting a different one. Not happy with it. I am looking at, I think it's a four meter cedar. I think I'm doing everything in about four meters this time. shot so eighteen thousand two hundred dollars well nobody can say I didn't try it Okay, let's replace that first. I don't want to go smaller. So I was going to try that one, but that one's going to be smaller. So I 
think I'll get this coon. And it comes as a 1,400, 19, 27, 32, 'll well, get the big one huh anti mud guards well sure let's help it stay clean transport wheels are nice in case you have it down it hits always want to cover working with 15 meters 18 24 hmm I don't know. We'll start with a small one, see how that does. Does it change? Oh, it doesn't change the price at all, but I bet it changes how it spreads. Put it on the big one. So I think I spent two thousand dollars. I got eighteen and I just spent twenty. So and I wanted to get a cedar. I believe it is a D nine. There it is. Three meter, four meter. I think I'm going to try this 4 meter one right here. Doesn't take much tractor to do it. And I've used this guy before. I have no problems with him. That's a 4. And if I go to these other ones, it's a 3 6, but I don't like fertilizer in it. I don't like direct drill, and that's back to a three. So we're going to come over here and grab this four. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but I there is a thunderstorm outside. It is rumbling the walls. Okay, we are going to take the super and rim color. Well, we can change rim color. Oh. Well, I like the yellow. Sure. Ooh, here we go. Without disc markers. Disc markers. Oh, I'm with you. I don't need disc markers. Standard. Handrail. Oh, we'll just do standard. We don't need a handrail. Wheel setup. Standard. Alternative. Well, the alternatives are a little aggressive. But these are wider. I think I like those better because it would put less pressure on the ground. I do. Only holds 830 seed. Well, we'll find out how much that, how far that goes. We will buy. Okay, don't want to buy two of them. There we go. And I guess we better buy some seed. Pioneer seed. 900 for a thousand. Well, I don't need to buy 2,000. There's no price savings, so... Buy one of those. All right. We will 
put... What are we going to put in here? Let's put the fertilizer in here. And then we'll come back for the lime that's left over. I don't know how much is in there. It'll go in there. So we've got 170 seed left. I like that four meter stuff. I wish it held more seed, but we'll see. I guess I could always buy that Coon uh, front seed container. And that would help add extra seed, but... This should do for now. Alright, while we're driving, let's see. Select seed. Barley, oat, canola, soybean, oil seed, grass. There we go. I'm going to leave. What did I go over there for? So I could drive into the tree. Let's leave that there. And we're on seed. Grass. We are planting our first field. I know it's nothing exciting. It's just grass. Have you figured out what animal we're going to have first? It's an easy one. They only take grass and water. Okay, we better time-lapse this.
Okay, looks like we need to fix some spots on the field that aren't very flat. Uh, where did I leave the plow at? Oops. Hey now. Okay, that was gonna take some landscaping, so let's save. And then we will go here. And we need sculpting. We want squares. Oh, really? Let's see here, smooth. It's trying to fight, but then it's letting me. Doesn't want to do it up here though. There we go. Now it's having a cow there. It's fine there. Well, we'll see if that fixed it. I like how the window of what you can see or not is what the terrain used to be. It's just not quite right. Let's see here. We want smooth. And we'll sneak over here. Can't really tell if you're getting everything or not. And yeah, it's not happy over here. There's something in the dirt. That just upsets me to no end. All of my tree stumps are removed. So I don't know why there's something in the ground there. All right, now we need to replow. That looked pretty good. There we go, perfect circle. I'm busy. Hopefully that'll plant good now. Here. Here. Thought I had the right trigger pulled, but I didn't. A little too soon. Okay, replowed.
Well, that was almost worthless. I think only one of them got repaired. I like that spreader a lot. That is my favorite spreader. I do believe that we have a finished grass field, which I can't take a screenshot of because it doesn't like it. Just do we'll do a blotchy screenshot. There we go.
Okay, so... Honest, this is the very first time I have ever had to reset a vehicle. I've always been able to wiggle it and rock it back and forth and go forward, backward, turn right, left, and get it to flip upside down or right back. Needless to say, this is a first. So the tractor's up there, but... Nothing that was attached to it came up. So the peripherals are still in the water here. There they are. Now, because of the cell point label, I have to just wiggle around and click, click, click and hunt for each item. But I find them. I'm glad that's over. Well, good evening. I've been putzing around here, cleaning up trees in this area, because I'm thinking I want to put some animals over here. And I got a few more to pick up here. I don't think I was all the way down on that one. There we go. It's going to be a jumper. Not too bad. So it's getting dark. So I better hurry up and show you before it gets too dark. Oh, you can see our grass has grown. All but one little spot, and I don't know why that is. There we go. But, something new is here. You can see my money went down. They have my shed installed. And my little workshop. Oh, and the lights just kicked on. That was cool. Automatic timer. Cool, cool. Well, I gotta do a little bit more cleaning up, and then I'm gonna go back up to the trailer and have supper and snoozy. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you want to make sure you see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.